Hello, everyone. And first off, let me just say thank you to the uh, 10,000 or so uh, viewers that I've gotten so far on the Return to Bugnum videos. They've been very successful, so thank you for that. But many of you have been wondering exactly how I played Bugdom on the Mac OS X operating system. So uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial video on how to do that. Um, it's pretty easy. There are several different ways to do it, but this is the one that I did, and it seems like a pretty good way to do it. So uh, first off, what you're going to do is go to this website here, uh, wineskin.urgesoftware.com. Um, this is an open source uh, porting utility to convert Windows programs to Mac OS X, as you can see right there. Um, so all you have to do here is go to the downloads and click right there on the big download link, and that will just download the uh, this wineskin application and you'll be able to install it like any other uh, software you would be doing that with. So that's that. Um, once you've got Wineskin installed, you want to go to ideasfromthedeep.com, uh, which I think in the past I had said was also ifd.com, but they do not have that, um, that domain name anymore. So ideasfromthedeep.com, as you can see, they've got Windows versions of all of these Pangea games. So we've got Bugdom, as well as Bugdom 2, Nanosar, all that. So click right here for Bugdom and that will take you to the Bugnum download page. And so, click right there, buy download, and this will take you to the page where you can purchase it. And it will say all of our titles are for Windows only, um, but obviously uh, we are working this so that it can be played on the Mac. So, uh, go ahead and click the checkout there. You'll be able to buy it for $19.95. Um, that includes tax. Um, with a credit card. So um, after you do that, you will receive an email from them uh, that will contain the download link, which is pretty much just a public link that anybody could access. But um, you will have a specific um, purchase number download code um, that you'll have to type in to actually get it to work. So that is that, and you will download. Um, it will give you an executable file, and just leave that alone for now. So. Um, after that, you will want to go to your applications and click on the Wineskin Winery that you installed before. And that will bring you to this page. And you may see new engines available. You can just click the plus button and install the most recent version if you want, but you don't have to. It's pretty much the same. Um, so then you go down here and do Create New Blank Wrapper. And so this is where you're going to type in Bugdom or whatever else you want to call it and it will load and then this will pop up and this will say cannot find mono package that doesn't matter so just click cancel and then cancel again All right, so it'll say wrapper creation finished, and then you'll view the wrapper in the finder, and it will be right there in this wineskin folder, which uh, will be located under your user folder here, not in the normal applications. Um, there will be a separate applications folder within the user folder that you'll click on, and then wineskin, it'll be right there. So at this point, you're gonna want to control click or right click the bugdom icon and show package contents. And then you'll see, um, you'll see it's created sort of a uh, virtual uh, C drive here, as well as a uh, Wineskin app within the actual Bugnum app. So you're going to want to double click that. And this is where you're going to install the software. So just click install and then choose setup executable. And this will be where you get your Bugdom install right there that you have downloaded from the uh, ideas from the deep. So you'll double click that. And then it should actually bring you to the real Bugdom setup. So here we have that. Just kind of click through this. Agree. And then just keep it um, where it is there. This is showing a uh, what looks like a Windows C drive. 
but in fact it's installing it into this drive C here that it's created within this folder. So just click install and wait for that to install which shouldn't take too long. Alright, and that's already shown. Don't need to show the README unless you want to read it. Alright, and then this should already have bugdom.exe. There's really only two options, but just in case that one isn't checked, make sure just uh, to make sure the bugdom.exe is selected and click OK. And then um, if you want, you can set the screen options. It should be already set to go to full screen. If not, you can switch around all these things. But again, that is not really necessary. All right, so then you click quit, get out of this um, window, and then double click bug them. And at this point you will be able to type in your registration things, but since I've already done that, I will go to the one I already have installed, which I have moved to my regular applications folder, but that is how you will do it. So there's my bugdom. Double click there. It will adjust the screen resolution to 640 by 480. just my video capture software that's got that issue. Um, so yeah, there's Bugdom, and you can just go around, play it however you want. Um, so that is really all there is to it. Um, the, the, the license key that you type in, the registration number, um, is indefinite. That's just the one time $20 you have to pay to download it, and that is how you do it. So, uh, thanks again. Keep watching those videos.